Hey everyone and welcome back. Today we've got another quick tips lesson. I'm going to walk you through major and minor dyads. This is something that I feel like is often overlooked. It covers the fundamentals of harmony. It's a less is more type situation. Anyway, I'll be really interested to hear what your thoughts are. So please let me know in the comment section below. Give me a like if you enjoy the video, subscribe for more great content and let's get into it. All right then, let's talk about some two note chords. We're going to have a look at major third and minor minor third dyads. I feel like a lot of the time when people learn guitar they focus a lot on triads and then bar chords then onto your major sevens, minor nines, add elevens and often the two note chord is overlooked and to be honest sometimes it's the best thing you can play. There's a great example of it in that James Bay song, it has a riff that I'm sure you all know. And you know, when you play that as bar chords, it doesn't necessarily have the same sound to it. So sometimes it's best just to minimize what you're doing. So without wasting any more time, let's have a look at some major and minor third diads on the A string. We're gonna play a C major and C minor. We're gonna start at the third of the A. And we're also going to add in the fifth of the B with our ring or pinky finger. And we're going to play the notes together as if we were playing the piano. So no need for a pick today. And to make that a minor diode, we're just going to take the major third back one fret. So the fifth of the B to the fourth. So already you can have quite a lot of fun with that. Let's now have a look at a major and minor third dyad on the E string. This is gonna be G major and G minor. For that, we're gonna use the third of the E and then the fourth of the G. And that's gonna be a G major. It sounds really nice with the low E string in there. Adds a great depth to that. To make that a minor dyad, we're just gonna take the fourth of the G down to the third. And for this, I like to throw over my middle finger for the lower note. Let's have a look at another one then. We're gonna have a look at the D string major and minor dyad. This is gonna be F major and F minor. Again, third of the D, then pinky finger or ring finger at the fifth of the E, and that'll be F major. To make that minor, we just need to take our pinky finger down one fret to the fourth. So now you should be able to do a range of ideas with those three shapes on those three strings. And now you could play that James Bay riff if you wanted to as well. They use that technique in quite a few songs. I think they play it in Scar Tissue as well. You could play that using the A shape and the E shape as well. So there's quite a few ideas. Let's say we're going from A major to B major and then C sharp minor. You know, instead of doing the bar chords, you know, why not change it to
and then maybe later you can add in the bar chords or the shorthand versions or whatever you like. Anyway, the point I'm trying to get across here is that there's quite a few ideas that people often overlook. So take that with you and see what you can do. So that concludes my lesson on major and minor dyads. What did you think of it? Did you enjoy it? Is this something you can now use in your own playing? Let me know in the comments section below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. I will see you on the next lesson.